If you're a goal setting geek like me, you can relate to these feelings. That feeling of emptiness or depression when you don't meet a goal and wondering what you did wrong that you didn't achieve what you set out to do. Or worse, that feeling of wondering if your goal wasn't challenging enough when you meet it. I went back and forth between these two pools of emotions for years until I finally cracked the goal setting code. And now through this oh so easy exercise, I've eliminated a lot of those feelings when it comes to setting my goals and finally meeting or achieving them. I'm showing you my easy exercise today, so stick around. Hey everyone, it's Leanne and I am a slave to my goals. It is not a healthy relationship. I set goals in everything I do, but it really is my roadmap or my compass for success. It's my roadmap for my business goals. It's my roadmap for even my personal goals, especially now my personal branding goals. Without this compass or roadmap, I think a lot of what I do would be all over the map. But when I set goals, I want to make sure that they're challenging me in a way that pushes my comfort levels, but also makes them realistic enough that I have a chance of achieving the goals. So I finally created a simple framework to help me set my goals so that I no longer had those feelings of overwhelm when I couldn't meet the goal and underwhelm when I needed my goal. And so enters my framework, my framework for personal brand goal setting. Set three goals instead of one. Let me show you what I mean. Before we look at this three goal framework that I mentioned, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. We're talking about personal branding and LinkedIn every week for the hospitality industry, and I'd love to see you here. Okay, so more about this three goal framework. So instead of setting one measurable goal, this is something that can be measured usually through numbers, we're going to set three goals. We're going to set a meet goal, an exceed goal, and then a far exceed goal. So let's go through the three goals one by one. Before we do that, don't forget that with any goal, we want it to follow the SMART goal framework. We want our goals to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-based. And what setting three goals instead of one does is it helps with the measurable, the achievable, and the time-based part of the goal setting. Let's talk first about the meet goal. Meet goals will often stretch you beyond what you achieved last time, typically by three to 15%. We're going to use an example as we go through all three goals of attracting new LinkedIn followers to our LinkedIn profile. Let's say your goal is to attract 500 new followers this year to your LinkedIn profile. Last year, your achievement was 450 new followers. This goal of 500 new followers is roughly an increase of about 10% over the achievement that we had last year of 450. This makes it a very realistic meet goal. Now setting an exceed goal, these goals push you out of your comfort zone just a little bit further. They should make you a little bit uncomfortable because you're looking at goals that are going to be 15 to 30% more than what you achieved last year. Let's take a look again at that LinkedIn example. Last year, you attracted 450 new followers. This year, you'd like to attract 600 new followers. That's roughly 25% more than what you achieved last year. Still achievable, but it will push you to up your LinkedIn game just a little bit more to attract that following. Now the far exceed goal. Far exceed goals are the ones where you're like, there is no way I'm going to achieve this goal, but wouldn't it be cool if I did? They will push you to do things outside of your comfort zone and really dig in to achieve your personal branding goal. 
So now if we look at that LinkedIn follower goal again, you had 450 new followers last year. This year, you'd love to attract 700 new followers. That's a 40% bump over what you achieved last year. You're really gonna have to up your LinkedIn game to meet this goal, but this far exceed goal, it will be challenging. And oh my goodness, what a great feeling if you achieve this goal. But regardless of the far exceed goal, you have set meet and exceed goals that are achievable and within your grasp. So do you see now how this three goal framework makes things a little bit more exciting and a little bit more achievable all at the same time? One of the tricks I learned is to assign a bit of a celebration for when I meet, I exceed, or I far exceed a goal and make that celebration in relation to the goal itself. By meeting a goal, maybe your celebration is smaller in nature, but as you start to creep up and hit your far exceed goals, ensure that you have a reward system in place and celebrate your achievement. Do you think this framework could work for you? If you do, please drop in the comments how you are going to reframe your goals using the meet, exceed, and far exceed framework. And if you need a quick worksheet to help detail out your goals, you can find one over at leannecalderwood.com forward slash three goals. That's the number three goals. My friend, my goal for today's video was to provide you with a framework that will help you meet your achievable goals as well as push you outside of your comfort zone to far exceed your goals. I hope I've provided some encouragement and I wish you all the best with your personal branding goals this season. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.